The aviation industry burns over 5 million barrels of oil every single day. But what if planes could fly without a single drop of fuel? Maxwell Chikambutso, a self-taught inventor from Zimbabwe, claims to have built an aircraft that defies conventional physics. A self-powered flying machine that requires no fuel, no solar panels, and no batteries. His creation, dubbed the Seth, meaning miracle in Hebrew, allegedly harnesses electromagnetic frequencies from the atmosphere to generate unlimited thrust. Traditional aviation relies on jet fuel, a finite resource that contributes massively to climate change and geopolitical conflicts. Even electric planes still depend on heavy batteries that limit range and require frequent recharging. Chikambutso's design bypasses these limitations entirely, using a proprietary green energy converter that he says taps into the Earth's natural resonance. Skeptics dismiss his claims as impossible, citing the laws of thermodynamics, but footage of early test flights shows a small prototype hovering silently above the ground. The aircraft resembles a hybrid between a drone and a mini-helicopter, with no visible exhaust, rotors, or solar cells. Chikambutso insists his technology is rooted in principles similar to Nikola Tesla's wireless energy transmission, but refined for modern aviation. In 2015, he demonstrated a prototype to Zimbabwean officials, who were reportedly stunned but offered no formal support. Since then, he's faced constant skepticism, with critics accusing him of fraud or staging his demonstrations with hidden power sources. Undeterred, Chikambutso has continued refining his design, moving from small-scale models to a manned aircraft capable of sustained flight. The breakthrough moment came during a secretive test flight from Harare to Cairo, a journey that, if verified, would rewrite the future of transportation. Eyewitnesses described the aircraft lifting off with an eerie hum, ascending smoothly without the roar of engines or the downdraft of rotors. At cruising altitude, it reportedly maintained a steady speed of 150 miles per hour, leaving no contrails or emissions in its wake. Aviation experts demand access to the technology for peer review, but Chikambutso has kept details closely guarded, citing patent concerns and fears of corporate theft. Military organizations from multiple countries have allegedly reached out, seeing potential in silent, fuel-free reconnaissance drones. Environmentalists hail the invention as a potential game-changer in the fight against carbon emissions from air travel. If commercialized, such aircraft could make flights cheaper, quieter, and accessible to remote regions without fueling infrastructure. But the biggest obstacle remains credibility without transparent testing, the scientific community refuses to endorse it. Chikambutso's supporters argue that all revolutionary inventions faced ridicule before acceptance, from the light bulb to the airplane itself. Meanwhile, aerospace giants quietly investigate whether his green energy converter could be reverse engineered. The implications are staggering. An end to fuel-dependent aviation, a collapse of the oil-based economy, and a new era of silent, clean skies. For now, the Seth remains an enigma, a glimpse of a future that may be closer than we think, if only the world is ready to believe. Deep inside an unmarked warehouse outside Harare, Maxwell Chikambutso's team works around the clock on the next iteration of the Seth aircraft. The core of the invention is a device Chikambutso calls the electromagnetic field resonator, a metallic sphere pulsing with high voltage currents. Unlike jet engines or electric motors, this resonator allegedly extracts energy from ambient radio frequencies, converting them into mechanical motion. Mainstream physicists argue this violates the conservation of energy, but Chikambutso claims classical physics fails to account for subtle energy fields. Early prototypes used modified Tesla coils, but the current design relies on a proprietary alloy that acts as a frequency antenna. During flight, the resonator supposedly creates a localized energy field that interacts with the Earth's magnetosphere, producing thrust without combustion. The aircraft's wings are embedded with conductive filaments that channel this energy, creating lift through a process likened to anti-gravity. In 2022, a leaked video showed a 10-minute test flight where the Seth executed maneuvers impossible for conventional drones, sharp 90-degree turns without inertia. Aerospace engineers who analyzed the footage noted the absence of turbulence or G-force effects on the pilot, suggesting an entirely new propulsion method. Chikambutso's critics allege the demonstrations are hoaxes, 
possibly using concealed magnets or ground-based energy beams. However, independent observers confirmed the aircraft flew beyond the range of any known wireless power transmission technology. The most compelling evidence comes from a 2023 flight where the Seth traveled 200 miles nonstop, recorded by multiple ground witnesses and radar systems. Fuel-free aviation isn't entirely unprecedented. NASA has experimented with ion thrusters, but these require massive power inputs and work only in space. Chikumbutso's breakthrough appears to be efficiency, extracting usable energy from minimal ambient sources, akin to a perpetual motion machine for the skies. If replicated, the technology could extend beyond aircraft to power cars, homes, or even cities, appending the global energy hierarchy. But until Chikambutso allows rigorous third-party testing, the Seth will remain in limbo between miracle and mirage. Governments hesitate to engage, fearing destabilization of oil markets or the risks of unregulated energy tech. Meanwhile, underground engineers worldwide attempt to replicate the resonator with sporadic claims of partial success. One researcher in Germany reported a 30-second hover using a similar principle but couldn't scale the effect for sustained flight. The key may lie in Shikambutso's secret alloy, a material he says is synthesized from rare earth metals using a classified process. As debates rage, the Seth sits hangered, awaiting either validation or obscurity. His true test will come not in the skies, but in labs where science decides what's possible and who gets to define the future. For now, the dream of fuel-free flight lives on, not in textbooks, but in a warehouse in Zimbabwe, where an inventor refuses to stop believing. What's next? Could this technology be the end of fossil fuels? Or is it too revolutionary to be real? Drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and follow for the final reveal. We built a replica? Does it fly? The future of aviation isn't just coming. It's already here, waiting for the world to catch up. Will you be on board when it takes off? The story of Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered aircraft is more than just a tale of invention. It's a litmus test for humanity's willingness to embrace radical change. For centuries, scientific progress has been met with resistance, from Galileo's telescope to the first steam engines. Yet each breakthrough eventually reshaped civilization. Chikambutso's Seth aircraft represents a similar crossroads, a technology that could either revolutionize transportation or fade into obscurity under the weight of skepticism. The parallels to history are striking. The Wright brothers were once dismissed as bicycle mechanics playing with dangerous toys, yet their impossible machine now carries millions daily. What makes this moment different is the stakes. A world drowning in climate crises and energy wars desperately needs alternatives, even if they challenge our understanding of physics. The scientific community's caution is understandable. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and Chikambutso's guarded approach fuels doubt. Yet mainstream science has been wrong before. Quantum mechanics and relativity were once considered heresies before becoming foundational truths. Perhaps the real barrier isn't the laws of physics, but the laws of economics. A fuel-free aircraft threatens trillion-dollar oil, aerospace, and energy industries. This tension between innovation and institutional inertia defines our age. We idolize disruptors until their disruptions reach our own backyards. Chikambutso's greatest challenge may not be perfecting his technology, but navigating the political and corporate minefields that surround energy independence. Already, there are whispers of patent battles, covert buyout offers, and geopolitical interests seeking to control or suppress the invention. The Seth's fate hinges on a critical question. Can a lone inventor from Zimbabwe rewrite the rules without being crushed by the system he aims to replace? For the public, this story offers a mirror. Our collective skepticism often reflects not just scientific rigor, but an unconscious fear of paradigm shifts. Imagine a world where airports no longer smell of jet fuel, where remote villages receive supplies by silent aircraft, where energy poverty becomes obsolete. This vision is either a utopia within reach or a fantasy distracting from practical solutions like biofuels and hydrogen planes. The truth likely lies in the middle. Chikambutso's technology may not be magic, but a stepping stone toward discoveries we can't yet fathom. What's undeniable is that the Seth has already achieved something profound. It's forcing us to question what's possible. In an era of incremental tech upgrades, 
We've forgotten how to dream big. This aircraft, real or not, reignites that crucial imagination. The next chapter won't be written in labs or boardrooms, but in the collective will of people demanding alternatives to a broken energy status quo. Whether the Seth soars or remains grounded, its legacy is secure. It's a symbol of human ingenuity, refusing to accept impossible as an answer. For those watching from the sidelines, the call isn't to blindly believe, but to stay curious, ask hard questions, and demand transparency from both inventors and gatekeepers. The future of flight isn't just about technology. It's about our courage to let go of outdated certainties and embrace the unknown. As you close this vidro, consider this, history remembers not those who said it can't be done, but those who dared to try. Where will you stand when the next great leap forward taxis onto the runway? The skies of tomorrow await, unfueled, unlimited, and unlike anything we've ever seen. Your move do you think self-powered aircraft are the future or a pipe dream? Hit reply and let's debate. Your opinion might be the spark that ignites the next breakthrough. And if you're ready to see more boundary-pushing tech, smash that follow button, because the revolution won't be televised. It'll be airborne. Watch this space. We're tracking Chikambutso's next test flight. Live updates coming soon. The horizon isn't the limit anymore. It's just the beginning.